Hello everybody, today we are going to see how we can export a data table like this one from our Angular application to Excel file. Okay, we have this table that I'm going to show you how to export to Excel file and we will also have the next section on printing this table directly to a PDF. Okay, so first of all, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let's click on the download Excel file, and we have this download. Let's close the previous one. No, okay. I will show step by step all the details of the files in the web app as well as in this Excel sheet that we have generated from our data okay on the top we had this distribution okay share bars whatever okay uh, <coughs> then we have left some space okay uh, two three rows yeah, we have this secondary uh, data set total active shows, planned visits, etc. Okay. Mm. I think this one's giving us a bit of problem. We will revisit this in a while I'm debugging. I'll show you how we can create a table like this in Angular and how we can export it into an Excel file. Uh, other than that, I think we have this last three to four. Okay, all right. And we have all these values correctly exported to an Excel file. Now we will go to fix this problem as well as show you guys how we can export. Uh, a data table into Excel file. Okay, here we are in the HTML part of our component, Angular component, and uh, I'm going to walk you through this component. Okay, those filters that I told you about at the top, these are the filters. Distribution, route, order booker. Okay, start that and that. these filters are created by this piece of code okay now after this once we are done with the form we have this div with the id of excel table okay then we have this p table first of all let me tell you i have used uh, Prime NG. It is a library, Angular library for front end. It provides components like this table that I just showed you and other stuff as well. We are using this table to show our data and this short survey is the array that basically holds all of our data. Okay. And uh, After that, we have this captions ng template directive which represents this part of our code. Okay, and then we have the global search filter, this one. Now, this part of the filter okay then the global filter here is done by this part of the code all right after that we are going into the second part of the data table that's this one let's put a drag tag here okay after that the main table starts. Uh, we have ng template headed directive 
we are specifying the uh, table headings here like this shop id mm, shop name address cell number whatnot okay well, next we have this ng template body this is as you can see the part which holds uh, the actual table uh, here we have this id name address cell all these things that we have already specified in the table header okay after that we have these buttons that we use to export to excel or download a pdf or print uh, the report directly now we will go to the part where we have implemented this export excel function okay here we have this export excel function that we are using to export our table to excel file we are getting the dom element by document.get element this excel table id as i had already showed you uh, is this one here we have as you can see id excel table which we are using here to get reference to it in our typescript file okay then uh, we have used this xlxs library to create our report okay this provides a really good support for creating excel files exporting our tables into excel files in angular this is it for this part of the video after this if you need any more help uh, please put down a comment and uh, i'll get back to you with that thank you for watching please like and subscribe